action! Welcome to our podcast at Los Amigos Tulum. This is just our third podcast and today we are here with our marketing manager, um, Paco Francisco Yanes. How's it going, Paco? I'm pretty good. How are you? Very great. Happy to be back because I've just been on a nice trip in China. Yeah, I know. You're just getting, getting back. What was the purpose of the trip? The purpose was to fly like a bird because <laughs> I visited a very special company there. It's called Eham. It's one of the most sophisticated, most innovative companies in the world because what they're doing right now is they're developing the first autonomous and zero, uh, first autonomous and 100% electric, and that's why zero emission flying passenger drone. Ah. So there is more than 50 companies in the world working this technology because I think everyone who is a little bit in this field agrees that is the future. In the future, we're all going to fly with the vehicles which have no pilot and fly completely autonomous. Uber is working with companies in America and even in Germany we have a company and there's a lot of companies who are working to get it on the big scale reality to make a fleet. But this company, they just started uh, flying with their prototypes and they're going in production already right now. So that was very interesting and this company you can buy a drone and have it maybe flying this year already. Wow. So it's so interesting that we said, wow, we need to go there and check it out. So I just went to Guangzhou, never heard about the city, but they're actually living more than 50 million people and there is incredible skyscrapers everywhere. So very, very impressive, more impressive actually than Beijing and Shanghai for me. And yeah, the most exciting thing they have in the city is really actually the, the test flying from this passenger drone. So it was pretty crazy because what we did here in Los Amigos is we have a new project. It's called Central Park Lagunas. And what we did there, we included a passenger drone landing station. <laughs> Why we did this? Because we design already projects for the future. You know, we start with renders and starting with ideas and then sell it to our clients because the delivery is in two years. So we're designing and developing always for the future. That's and uh, I had for a long time this company envisioned because I thought this is a technology with 3D transport which is going to happen for sure, but we don't know when. And last year we saw them first flying with this in, in Austria actually in Europe. And then we thought, wow, we need to include it right now in our projects for next year to have the top notch technology in our, in our development. Absolutely. And just, yeah, just hold on a little bit for the, all the people that, is, that are watching us right now. Let them know how does this drone works? How is it? It just really flies. So it's, if you know Tesla, you go in a Tesla Model 3, for example, the only thing you see is a steering wheel and you have a big iPad. And in the future, the steering wheel is going to disappear. And they disappeared already. So you, got in, you get in, you have a two seater and you have uh, really just an iPad monitor. Right. And the route is pre-programmed. So you can not go wherever you want, you can go the route which is pre-programmed. And uh, yeah, you push a button and then it just starts. It flies, uh, we did just a quick test fly, but the capacities can fly up to 1,000 meter high. Wow. And the feeling is... And the speed? Speed is up to 120 kilometers, so about 70, 70 miles or something. So yeah, it's, it has a range from about right now like 20, 25 minutes flight time. So it's perfect for our environment here because what our idea is that people can go maybe in one minute to the beach from here or flying in five minutes around the national park and see the incredible nature from above. We have national parks here, we have these lagoons, we have the cenotes, we have the Maya culture and the ruins. So there's a lot of great things which you can see here from the area and you're not bothering anyone because the most of the area is here just jungle and ocean. Because the next step for these companies is to go in urban environment where they're going to want to take over the mass transport. But this is like still a few years out, but uh, to fly the drone in reality, just one or two, this hopefully is going to be a reality starting next year. Uh, that's amazing. And still the, the vehicle, the vehicle, the drone is uh, completely safe, right? It has like a, how, how many engines does it have? Yeah, that's a good point because safety was the first thing this company was focusing on. Because I think one of the co-founders or something died in a helicopter uh, accident and they thought wow a helicopter is actually pretty dangerous there is just one motor with a uh, with a combustion engine so it's contaminating made a lot of noise and it's pretty dangerous because whatever happens in this mechanical thing then it just falls down <laughs> so um, these passenger drones they they have they are designed first to be 100% safe to never fail one thing you have to have I think to have a really you never get 100% safe but to get to 99.9999 
you have to eliminate humans. <laughs> humans are never, they, 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 we make a lot of errors. So to have a system working almost perfect, you need to eliminate humans and that's what I did. So from the beginning it was, uh, the concept was without um, humans and just autonomous. And what they have, they have eight arms, because you know maybe drones we have here, the little drones, they have four arms and just four motors. They have eight arms and 16 independent motors. So instead of a helicopter, traditional helicopter has just one motor who has a lot of potential to fail. <laughs> and here you have 16 electric motors where each independent is almost very impossible to fail because just a few parts and electric motors are pretty easy technology. And even if half of the motors fail, the drone flies still perfect. So you have like everything is eight times uh, double secured. Wow. Yeah. So there are two engines for each arm. Exactly. Wow. Times eight, 16 motors. Wow. So you're pretty good. And the drone doesn't fly if something is with one motor not in, in, in order. It doesn't even st uh, start. But like I said, even if you're flying and you have one, two, three, four, five motors problems, you're still good. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So this is the future of mobility. Yeah, this is, I think definitely it's the future. That's why so many companies are working on it. And Eham is really on, on the forefront because they're the first company who actually fly. So they flew in Europe, they flew in, in China, they have already one, more than 1,000 orders for drones, so they're starting uh, production lines right now. Wow. So they are for me, they are the Tesla of the drone industry. So they are already flying it in Europe and in China? The, the test flying. So they have cooperation with Austria, with the government in Austria, and did test flying already, and they're working right now on the regulation, because this is actually the hardest part, to get the regulation. Because actually, nowhere in the world there is regulation for autonomous AR vehicles because yeah. it's something which is just about to happen but it's definitely the future so what you have to do is you have to have the legislators flying the drones getting to know the technology have the approvals with uh, have all this um, proven concept so you have to have one million flights seeing hey, everything is good in China they do the flights inside of a tsunami inside the darkness inside all kind of weather conditions so that you're always completely safe yeah that's all happening right now and uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. How, how was your relationship at the beginning with Ehang? I mean, how do you get in touch with them? I was just a fan. I watched a lot of companies, even Germany is a company who is in the drone development, but they want to do it on big scale. So never they're going to fly a few drones, just prototyping. But this company, I know the, the idea is to have a lot of people flying, uh, flying, flying a few drones here, flying a, flew a few drones there. And this uh, strategy to go to market is I think very clever because you need to get this technology close to people that they can see a drone, fly with a drone and get used to it. And some other companies they're just working to get mass production and have like 10,000 drones flying in the same way. Uh, but this is maybe with companies like Uber and not includes companies like we, we are here. And uh, so I was just a fan and as I saw wow they're ready to go to market. I wrote them and said hey we would love to integrate this technology in our company here in Tulum. And I know you're just prototyping right now, but how far away are you to go in to market? And I say, hey, we're looking for a partner in your market. And you, if you would want to be our partner, you can have one of the first drone systems flying in Mexico. And I said, oh, that's fantastic. So we flew there, saw the concept, made, made the flight and everything, negotiate. And now we're ordering the first drone. And let's see, they're starting production right now. And maybe between four and six months, we, we are ready to get delivered the first drone. And then it gets really exciting. Yeah, because that's something very important for all the people that are watching us right now, because many, many of them maybe are just thinking that this is like insanely from the future, that is not a reality yet, but it is coming to, to Tulum. Right. It is the first one in Latin America, I believe. It's one of the first on the entire planet, and in Mexico, definitely the first. So yeah, I don't know what in the rest of the country of Latin America, we yeah, are probably you're right, probably the first in Latin America. And that's why we are so exciting about it. You know, we have a lot of technology. We have the first, uh, syst the Eolic system we have here is the first in the entire country. The smart flow system we have the first in the entire country. A lot of treatment plant technology we have here is the first in the entire country. So we love to be on the forefront because we love to show, we love to show our market, this country or the entire world, what is possible today. Né? And as a developer, you're not developing specially these technologies but you take all the technologies here in the world available and make something really great out of it. Mm -hmm. So this technology combines perfect with our developments because we, we have already here the Teslas and the Tesla charging station, the electric charging station, because uh, mobili mobility was always connected to developments because how do people get to the developments and how can they leave? They come with cars or with planes or with trains or with, with bikes, so they come somehow. 
And uh, we loved electric cars already because we said, hey, if people are here, they always discover the area. And the best way to do it is actually by bike. But the second best way to do it is if they go with car, because the ruins from, from Koba, which are fantastic, they're like 30 minutes from here, so people take cars or something. It would be amazing if they take electric cars. And then they can charge the electric cars right here with one of our, we have the biggest solar plants all over Tulum. So the energy comes from the sun. So people and guests in the area, just, they just, they just uh, move around by sunlight <laughs> energy. And it's fantastic because we get a lot of sunlight here. And uh, now with a drone, you bring it literally on a completely new level. And that's what we're exciting about. Because flying actually a drone is 10 times more efficient than an electric car. Because the same energy gets you 10 times faster forward than with an electric car. That's amazing because this nature is going to be preserved. And that's it's, the most important it, thing. it's literally a different perspective. So no one comes out of uh, necessary to Tulum. Everyone comes just to Tulum and wants to have a great experience. Yeah. A great experience and what we do is we say always the best experience is nature and we just give you the possibility explore nature or experience nature in a different way like with these double glass pools if you swim there you, you feel like you're flying over the jungle but now with a drone you're actually really flying above the jungle and it's an experience which, which, which will change the perspective of people and change the perspective how they experience to look it really is going to change everything yeah. here yeah how long does it take to get fully charged uh, depending on the charging stations, like the Tesla, we have a charging station here for 100 kilowatt battery who charge a Tesla in three hours, but if you would have a fast charging station, it's in 20 minutes. And there's the same, they have normal charging station and fast charging station, I think the fast charging station is under one hour. But depending how much voltage, how much power, how much kilowatt power you put in the charging station. So maybe you get it down later to 20 minutes or something. But you're usually not charging it from completely empty to completely full. Yeah. You always have a range because you don't get back to your port <laughs> with almost zero battery. You come like, have always a buffer like 20-30%. And then to charge it from 30% to 80 or 90% again is like half an hour or something. Yeah. Cool. And that's enough to, to put the next, next passenger in. Little introduction, but you... So the idea is you're going to have the first uh, drone tower in Central Paragunas. Exactly. And is everyone going to be uh, able to, you know, jump in and just Yeah, it's an amenity placed in this project. But like the amenities we have here in Central Park already, it's an amenity that everyone can use. Because we are a tourist hotspot in the world. So as more attractions you have, as more people come and stay in your places. That's what we offer to our investors, to our people who, who buy apartments here. Because we say, hey, we make an exciting development. Because if it's excitement, then it means a lot of tourists want to stay exactly there. A condominium or a project shouldn't be just a roof. We don't sell just square meters. You want to have people who say, wow, this is an exciting condominium because of the way they connect me with nature, all of the crazy architecture they have, like the glass pool that we have right now, the first 360 rooftop infinity pool in the world. So the sunset views are just amazing. We were just with the owners sitting there and we couldn't believe it how amazing it is. This, is, this experience are incredible. So the sunset is incredible, but you have to have a development which uh, gives you the ability to, to, uh, to discover the sunset in a different way, right? That's amazing. So people are gonna have, the buyers here are gonna have an amazing apartment with an incredible ROI. And besides all that, they're gonna be the first ones in the world to be in a flying drone. Yeah, it's an adventure we all go together. Because we never did it by ourselves. That's why I needed to go to China to, to prove for myself that it's all real and that, that we can really offer it to our, to our clients or in the future to guests who come to Tulum. But it's amazing. Imagine you're flying the drone or flying in the sunset of Tulum. Bah! That's, that's you're never going to forget for life because it's just so innovating right now. You cannot do it anywhere in the world right now. And if you can do it here next year or maybe this year, yeah, who knows. Uh, then I think we have created one of the most amazing experiences human being can have right now on the planet. Amazing. So when is this uh, project, Centro Paragon, is going to be delivered? Yeah, delivery is we starting actually at the beginning of next year already, but officially is May 2020. And yeah, we're delivering the drone probably before. I, I guess I, my, my, my challenge is to fly the drone before the development is actually done. Because then we get a nice, we get also nice attention for development. Yeah. People. So we, we work on both. Because what we're doing also right now, we think if we fly this drone here first in Mexico, we get a lot of attention. And we get a lot of people asking us, how can I get the drone? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I want a drone too. 
So we negotiate right now actually uh, exclusive distributorship with this company for Mexico. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. But uh, besides, besides that, are you planning to put it uh, in another projects that are coming? Yeah, okay, we start now with this. So what we officially marketize is this project is going to have the drone. Yeah. So now we have to deliver the drone for this project. And then we see how it works. Never have, never ever, no one has ever done this before. So we want to try it right now. If it's, if it's amazing like we think, then we're probably thinking about to make a network that the drone can fly from one station to another, from one condominium. And then we have our own network, like we have the charging network right now for, for our guests to come with electric cars. We can have then maybe a um, 3D mobility network inside of Tulum or in the future even up to Cancun. Let's see, the sky is the limit. The sky is not the limit not in this anymore. case. So let's see what we can, we can do. That's but the first thing is to start flying around this area here a little bit. So did and you regulation. See, now that you are coming from China, did you see any other, uh, you know, like high-tech uh, inno innovations that maybe could fit Tulum also? Yeah, there's a lot. Coming from Europe, I feel like I'm coming from an old tech com country because uh, everyone in China works with phones. No one pays with credit cards anymore. You can, and not in a lot of places, you cannot even pay with credit card. Everything is WeChat Pay or other payment methods running through the phone. So yeah, as a European, I guess I'm behind, and as Mex in Mexico, we're behind too. So we, we got to step up because <laughs> they're ahead of us with payment technology and a lot of stuff more. The drone, yeah, yeah. the drone is pretty pretty impressive. What they're doing right now, people, people ask me, hey, and what is in the future if you have like 10,000 drones, who's controlling all this? They're controlling it right now because they're building not only the passenger drone, they're building already mass production um, drones on a smaller scale. What they're doing, for example, is they, they're building show drones. That means they have like 3,000 drones flying in a, in a way that they project with the drones and the colors in the sky in the night. Uh, logos or art or whatever. And that means you need to correct. Well, it's a complicated word. You need to ma maneuver all the drones very accurate because they're flying like in a distance of 10 centimeters, thousand drones in the same time. But it shows how how precise you can control these technologies today. So for them, it's no problem to control even thousands of passenger drones now because they're doing it already with the small small drones. So the like I said, everything is there. Technology is there. Now it's just bringing to the market or bringing to people. So what we need to do is we need to put people in the drones. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And now people are going to be just flying all around Mexico. That's amazing. Yeah, starting from next year, we have probably flying Mexico, fly, a lot of flying Mexicans here. Wow, amazing. <laughs> and people from all around the world can come because we are worldwide. We would be one of the first companies to actually implement, implement uh, this technology as a tourist application. Because they want to enter in, 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 in transportation for cargo, they want to enter in transportation of uh, hospitality services, uh, in Uber environment, and we are one sector which is really imp important too, which is uh, tourism. So, because for tourism, just for the experience, it's so great. That's mainly what I did in China. I said, oh, I didn't fly anywhere, but I had a great time because it's such a new thing. Wow, yeah. it's going to be completely insane. Yeah. And yeah. I hope a lot of people is going to be waiting for, for it to be part of it. Yeah, at the end is what people say about it, but I think everyone can be really excited about it. Absolutely. And it's, it's game changing. You feel, because in Mexico City we have a perfect example, same in Los Angeles and New York, there's a lot of traffic in one dimension, actually less than one dimension, because you're kind of stuck to the streets and the streets are full of traffic mm -hmm. and you think, this kind of transportation sucks. <laughs> you said you, you pay a lot to get from A to B, but it takes a lot of time. And time is the most valuable resource we have in this planet. And this drone flies in the three dimension. We need three dimension transport, whatever. And there, there is no streets. We can have between here and thousand meters, there is right now no traffic. If you get in the airplane at the airport, the first thing the airplane does goes on 10,000 feet. Yeah. But below 1,000 meters, there's no transport going on. Oh, because that's something also very interesting about, interesting about this, because it doesn't fly like a, like a plane. It goes exactly like an helicopter. Exactly. It's like a reverse U. So it goes up and goes wherever it's programmed to, and then it goes straight down. Yeah. Exactly like a mini drone, right? No. Like an actual drone. No. no. Oh, that's amazing, Nico. Mm -hmm. So do you have anything else you want to share with this? Audience. Yeah, we wanted to use this podcast to share with you guys a little bit the story why we went to China right now and how we excited we are about this technology. 
And we hope we can bring it this year or starting next year to Mexico and then we will be the first company in Mexico who has this technology. And yeah, this is our third podcast. So if you like this podcast, maybe uh, join in for the next one too. Yeah. It's going to be exciting because nothing is boring, I think, what we're going to do here. Exactly. And people should stay tuned, both the ones that are watching us right now and the ones that are listening to us right now because they can be the first people in Earth to drive to be on a, on a passenger drone. To fly with a passenger drone. Yeah. yeah, the mission of the company from Ihan was really nice. I said, we want that every human being can fly like a bird. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Nice mission. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching and for listening. See you next time. Ciao.